Supporters of the people charged with the January 6th insurrection are planning a rally in Washington, D.C. this Saturday, and intelligence suggests there is the potential for violence. Reporter Skylar Henry is on Capitol Hill with more on what's being done to prevent another attack like the one we saw earlier this year. U.S. Capitol Police officers responded to a suspicious vehicle outside the Democratic Party headquarters on Capitol Hill. They found a truck with swastikas and no license plate. They arrested the driver, a 44-year-old California man, when they found a bayonet and a machete inside. Security is high on Capitol Hill, ahead of a planned rally for this Saturday. Protesters overcome the police. In support of the people arrested for storming the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. Intelligence suggests several hundred people, including far-right extremist groups such as the Proud Boys and Oath Keepers, are planning to attend. Capitol Police Chief Tom Manger briefed congressional leaders from both parties Monday morning. They gave us a good briefing. They're handling this in a very professional, thorough way. And I think they're much better prepared than things were before January 6th. Capitol Police will be able to utilize these newly installed security cameras, which are on loan from the military. The cameras provide a 360 degree view both day and night. They're also bringing back the security fencing, which was put in place in the aftermath of the January 6th attack. The fence will go up uh, a day or two before, and, and if everything goes well, it'll go down, it'll come down uh, very soon after. Meanwhile, court cases against those charged in the assault continue. A grand jury indicted 33-year-old Landon Copeland of Utah. He's facing 11 charges, including two counts of assaulting police officers. He's accused of using a piece of metal fencing to attack an officer, as well as those who came to the officer's rescue. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. More than 580 defendants have been arrested and more than 30 have pleaded guilty since January 6th. Charges include assault on officers, destruction of government property, and conspiracy. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken faced tough questioning by lawmakers today on the chaotic evacuation from Afghanistan during the withdrawal of U.S. troops last month. The secretary appeared before the House Foreign Affairs Committee, where some lawmakers were critical of the evacuation, including the situation on the ground and how many Americans and Afghan allies still remain in that country. Can you guarantee to this committee that we will get them out? Going forward, we continue to look to them. The secretary will appear before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee on Tuesday. If you bought something shower related at Costco recently, we have a recall you'll want to know about. It's next on Valley News Live at 5.